What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video we're here in Weston, Florida and if you can hear all the way around me, there's motorcycles everywhere. And in today's video, I'll be doing one of my bucket list rides. I'll be riding with who calls Slide Never Hide and I know these guys have been inviting me to come out and ride with them for the longest. So today I'm going to knock out one of my bucket list rides and we're going to be heading down to the Florida Keys. So it's going to be my first time taking a motorcycle down to the Keys. Looking forward to it. We got a lot of bikes out here. So I'll see you guys on the road. Let's go. Our journey would begin here at the world famous Cafe 27, which is a famous biker and trucker stop. You can get fuel or you can stop by the local bar for some delicious food. Once our kickstands were up, we had a variety of different types of wheels out here, from motorcycles, cruisers, sports bikes, and trikes. And before you know it, we were heading south on Highway 27 toward Miami. The bulk of this area of Highway 27 consists of Everglades swampland and industrial land. So most of the scenery here is brush and shrubs. After miles of some nice cruising, we were veering eastbound on Highway 27 toward the Ronald Reagan Turnpike. Once we arrived at the turnpike, we had a couple of bikers blocking the intersection. As we all made that turn onto the ramp, we were southbound on the Ronald Reagan Florida Turnpike. After a nice ride south on the Florida Turnpike, thanks to good cloud cover, we exited onto US-1 and continued south toward the Florida Keys. We would stop at this racetrack, which is the last gas station before entering the one-way lane on the Overseas Highway south toward Key Largo. This is your last opportunity to stop and get some fuel and a snack. Okay, so we just made it to our first stop. We're just outside of actually entering the Keys. We're at the racetrack. Everyone's fueling up. I'm still good to go, so I'm just gonna cruise through. After fueling our bikes and ourselves, we were back on the road again. Every time I get on my motorcycle, especially when riding with groups, the roar of the engines is a constant reminder of the freedom that we have here in America. As we pass the appropriately titled Last Chance Bar, and come toward the blue walls, which is an indicator that we have southbound traffic for miles and miles to come until we got to Key Largo. We cross through the southern glades of the Overseas Highway heading toward Key Largo, which offered stunning views of the Everglades waterways and beautiful greenery.
whenever coming into this area, be mindful of your speed because the Monroe County Sheriff's Office may have a bone to pick with you. After passing the blue walls, we were finally in civilization. And seeing that Welcome to Key Largo sign was a milestone accomplished, especially for me being a new rider, and to have this moment come on two wheels. Soon we would cross into Isla Mirada, Approaching our destination of Hog Heaven. With one more bridge to cross, we made a turn into the parking lot of Hog Heaven and our destination. Okay guys, so we finally made it down here after about 91 miles, approximately two hours here. We're here at Hog Heaven in the Florida Keys. So I'm gonna go in and get some food. Let's get it on. There's nothing like a good ride with good people topped off with good food. I had some wings dipped in Blue Ranch with some celery and man, it was so good. Hog Heaven sits on some amazing property. Oceanfront with stunning views and decorations. Overlooking the Atlantic Ocean here in the Florida Keys. If you're a boater, you can also take your boat here and dock it while getting some delicious food. Oh, but beware of the crocodiles. There's also a little island all the way at the end which features an actual boat which was built by Cubans to navigate the treacherous Atlantic Ocean in their quest for freedom. Okay guys, thank you guys for watching. If you like this kind of content, do your boy a favor, hit that subscribe button, definitely hit the like button. And here we have it, another bucket list ride checked off of the list. So reporting live from the Florida Keys, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace up, two wheels down. That drunk is so corny.